Russia's lethal-looking Ka-52 attack helicopters have reappeared in video footage blasting targets in Syria, catching some journalists in Europe by surprise. Even if Russia withdraws the Agile attack helicopters, the type will remain active in the Middle East in Egyptian service. The lean, two-seat Ka-52 is visually distinguished by its pronounced nose, and is fittingly dubbed the alligator. The nimble, ultra-maneuverable scout attack helicopter uses two three-bladed contra-rotating rotors for stability so that it can go without a legend-inducing tail rotor, allowing the helicopter to soar at up to 196 miles per hour, nearly 20% faster than an Apache. According to Russian media, unlike the more heavily armored Mi-28N, Havoc, the alligator can both glide like a plane and pivot 90 degrees on the spot. Recommended why North Korea's Air Force is total junk indeed, when NATO first learned of the alligator's predecessor, the single-seat Ka-50 Black Shark, it was assumed to be a purpose-designed anti-helicopter platform for chasing down American gunships. This was not really the case though the Ka-50 and Ka-52 NATO codenames Hokuma and B reportedly can mount deadly R-73 heat-seeking air-to-air missiles. The helicopter's primary mission is reconnaissance and ground attack. Recommended why Dose and America Kill Kim Jong-un, 32 Ka-50 served as prototypes in the 1990s and 2000s, each configured differently from the previous model. In 2001, a few black sharks launched rockets and laser-guided missile strikes on Chechen insurgent camps. Later in the decade, the Russian Air Force finally ordered more than 146 of an upgraded two-seater version, the Ka-52, of which 94 were delivered by the end of 2016. Recommended the F-22 is getting a new job sniper in January 2016, as Moscow announced it was withdrawing its air force from Syria. It dispatched a contingent of Ka-52 attack helicopters which began airstrikes on Syrian rebels and ISIS fighters. In April 2016, the first recording of the type emerged in action, blasting ISIS forces in al qaeda with unguided rocket pods. Some accounts claim they were dispatched on as many as five sorties a day. Reflecting their role as a reconnaissance platform, the Ka 52s were also reported to be using their laser targeting systems to cue in airstrikes by more heavily armed Su 25 frog food ground attack jets. They reportedly played an important role in driving ISIS forces from Palmyra in the winter of 2016 17. Another video, dated at August 2017, shows them employing laser guided missiles to destroy transports and tanks. Around this time they were reported to have conducted airstrikes in support of Syrian paratroopers seizing the town of al Hadr in Homs province. And for a good measure, during the enormous Zapad 2017 military exercise, a Ka-52 gave spectating journalists a terrifying up-close demonstration of the effects of a rocket pod barrage. Fortunately, nobody was killed. The Western Military District explained that the alligator had erroneously locked down a wrong target. You can see the camera footage from the Ka-52 in question here. Unlike the heavily armored Mi-24 Hind helicopters, which are expected to wade in closer to the action, the Ka-52 is intended to pick off enemy armored vehicles from as far as 5 miles away using up to 12 laser-guided 9K-121 Decur whirlwind anti-tank missiles or KH-25 megaliters air-to-ground missiles. These exceed the range of man-portable surfacito air missiles like the Stinger, save for possibly the latest model. However, the alligator's FHO-1 Arbele ground surveillance radar is mounted in its nose, meaning that it must expose its entire airframe while scanning for targets, unlike the Mi-28N and AH-64, which have a radar mounted atop the rotor that can peak above hills or trees. The Arbele has a ground search range of 15 miles. These Ka-52's weapons are mounted on six hardpoints slung under the stub wings, which can also accommodate bombs and rocket or gun pods. In addition, there are flare and chaff dispensing pods on the wingtips to decoy enemy missiles, and a fixed 30mm 2A42 autocannon under the fuselage for strafing enemy personnel and vehicles. An undernose turret mounts an electro-optical and forward-looking infrared FLIR sensor for detection and targeting purposes. The Alligator has also been fitted with a new electronic warfare countermeasure system, a radar warning receiver and, uniquely for a helicopter, an ejection system that blasts off the rotors before ejecting the crew. Overall, however, the Ka-52 is still generally thought to lags behind the AH-64E Apache Guardian in terms of avionics. Pages